morning. It's the perfect day to finish a project. So let's get stitching. Now to tack down his little scarf. I'm gonna come up from behind and tack down the very edge of that loop. Just a tiny stitch. Now with that side secure enough, I can manipulate the ribbon a little bit more. And I wanna go ahead and catch this top bit right over on the other side of his neck. So first I'm gonna come up and that way I can better bring my thread through. Then I'm gonna do the same for this lower part of the ribbon. Okay, that is tacked down. Now I want to tack down on the other side of this knot so that his little scarf ends there are exactly where I want them placed. And I'm just catching the edge of the knot there. There we go. Now I think I'm going to go back here and just add a couple of tacking stitches along here since this part is still open just to tie that down a little bit more. There we go. And that should be enough to hold his scarf in place. So my gingerbread man is now all dressed, but I still want to work on some background elements. These stars are nice that they give a nice variation to an otherwise solid background, but I would really like to add a little floss to those as well. The premise behind this particular embroidery piece is that the stitcher can decorate the gingerbread man any way they want. So I chose to add buttons and the little ribbon scarf to do a brown backstitch outlining all around the gingerbread man, and then to come back in with a chain stitch in white as if that were the icing. And I did little satin stitch eyes because I couldn't find buttons that were the right size, but I think that worked out for the best. I have found the perfect color to add some stitched embellishments in the background. I just have to decide whether I wanna stitch over some of these background stars or add some little French knots around, which I think might be kind of cute to add a little bit of texture as if those are little pinpoint stars. And I found a color that is very, very similar to the printed background stars. I could do stars in other colors but I think I'm going to stick with the yellow because that just keeps it nice and simple and all the focus can be on the gingerbread man. So even though this is a Christmassy project, you know, the gingerbread man is can be a year-round decoration as well. And coming soon to my Etsy shop, I will have some kits for the gingerbread man. I will leave the link to my Etsy store in the description.